man. So it all started with a tweet from my guy Dime Work, man, talking about Skill Boost and his feelings about him. And we know that this is one of the most polarizing topics in the 2K community. We're going to talk about all of that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video. Comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to get to that oh so coveted 100K so this thing can go to the moon. Y'all don't know that reference, man. Also, before we do this, make sure y'all stop by, check out the site, Breeze Tees. Get your tea, get your tees in a breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees. Y'all already know what it is. We got that brand new Hulk smash for y'all right there. Smash Fitness, unleash your inner Hulk, man. That thing is, that thing is so fire. And like I said, man, hey, let's just let's just not even mess around and beat around the bush. Let's just get right in. To it so bow this is my guy down work man he says this game will be so much more skill based if skill boosts weren't a thing i guarantee you some people wouldn't be able to shoot consistently without it i agree with that and then he doubled down and he just says listen man i pray for i but at, at baluba i pray for a 2k news cycle where where one of your talking points is the removal of skill boost gatorade uh you know gatorade guarantee gameplay reviews go through the roof and then somebody says you know this says, says same but too much of the money too much of a money maker and the gatorade boost is an endorsement uh unfortunately but skill boost can definitely go now i ain't gonna lie to y'all about that man skill boost could definitely go and he's also correct and a lot of people wouldn't be able to do anything at all if they didn't have the skill boost like brute probably is one of the only people that plays this game consistently without skill boost but even if we were to i mean and obviously you can see well that that's 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 an outlier right there don't worry about that but obviously it doesn't matter because he gets busy he gets buckets and he's able to get points and do all of this stuff but we do know when you're playing without skill boost you're playing at a disadvantage when they first introduced these back in like in uh 2k 16 it was like in the in the, i don't know what well, they did have skill boost but they also had the park cards so they got rid of the park cards after 17 that was one of the big talking points but in 16 and 17 people didn't really use skill boost that much as a matter of fact people would would laugh at you if you use skill boost and people be like dang man these dudes is from they from uh sunset and they boosted so you know they shooting the ball they oh, oh yeah they shooting shooting out there and a lot of people you know they were they, it was almost a, a comical thing dang man y'all use boost and then the game got to a point where it was either you're going to use the boost or you're going to lose to somebody that is using it. And I don't want to be losing games because, you know, the game got so competitive because everybody is a low-key content creator on this game. And so, you know, it just became one of those things where it's like, look, I'm going to use it. And uh, if they're not using it, then you're going to lose the bombs that, that wouldn't be able to shoot or do anything otherwise. My biggest issue with skill boost, though, is skill boost and badges should enhance abilities but in this case it seems like skill boost and badges outright grant abilities so if i'm a good if i'm a person that can steal the ball you know and i and i and i get a steal skill boost or if i get a uh, dunking skill boost or what have you i should just be able to dunk you know a little bit easier but it's in some cases it's like it's not even gonna let you dunk on somebody if you don't have the badge or if you don't have the badge plus the skill boost combination just like let's like shooting shooting is almost unlocked like all the crazy stuff that you can do the, the crazy contested shots the closer shots that you can hit all of the other stuff like that those things are almost it's not just amplified by it, but it's almost unlocked by it, if y'all understand what I'm saying, man. And I, I know a lot of people are going to disagree because people are going to be like, hey, man, I'm going to keep buying the skill boost, and we know that 2K is never going to take them out because we know and we, and we know that's going to be the case because 2K, they don't want to. I mean, it's just too much of a money maker. When, when you, when you the, ma the major aim, I feel, is that so you can't play the game at a profit because when you get on board of no skill boost bought, you're able to play the game at such a high profit that you can make you can make players, you know, out of out of out of nothing just by playing the game. You can you can make a player. You play 30, 40, 50, 60 games, you know what I'm saying, two, three hundred games, and that's not a lot. Then you can make another player. But if you're buying skill boost, you're absolutely not gonna do that. Especially if you're playing rec, you can you can definitely do that. Brute has tried and tested it. Since he went and stopped playing with skill boost, he's been able to get, you know, make make several players no money spent. So it is what it is. And we know down work plays with no money spent also, so we know that he's on that. But hey, it is what it is. We're gonna go back to some of the responses and, and then someone says, as someone who's 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 had both unlimited boost and gatorade and had both of them taken away uh taken away this year i can attest to those boosts are too much 
of a game changer. I can attest to the fact that those boosts are too much of a game changer. And he just says, you know, you know I don't buy boosts. Uh, that's what one person said, chill on boosts. And then last but not least, Bilbo Games says, but that is all that is also on 2K for making the game that way. I know I know you're an amazing player, but you telling me that there's no difference with the with the 83 ball, with the 83 three ball and no boost. How consistent would you be? And he's absolutely right about that, man. You're just not allowed to be consistent. It, like I said, it doesn't just enhance the ability. It it doggone near unlocks the ability, man. But one thing you can't unlock is IQ, man. And that's one of the, that's what's one thing that we that sets everybody apart. It's it's IQ, man. And also at the last at the last uh, at, at last but not least, man. Hey, listen, man. I'm tired of this Draymond Green slander, man. People talking about what was Draymond thinking on this play. Hey, listen, man. You're showing your your basketball your lack of basketball basketball IQ is, is showing if you can't go back and look at this play and see what was supposed to happen right here. I am going to break it down for y'all because I am the number one Draymond Green fan on the planet. This was not his fault. He did what he was supposed to do. And for the second time this game, somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. And he threw the ball to a spot and they weren't there. The first time was when Gary Payton the second ran off the court because he had, you know, he had, you know, he had a little issue that he had to deal with. And he took off and Draymond was just threw the ball because he expected somebody to be there and he wasn't there. And then, you know, this is the second one right here. So, boom, here we go. You're going to run the play. Draymond is coming off of this. So, right here, Steph. Steph is pretty much a decoy right here. What a play action is supposed to be is he's going to fake this dribble handoff right here, and then he's going to attack. If he if he beats Schroeder, he can go on up and go to the rim. But what's supposed to happen is uh, Wiggins is supposed to set a screen right here, and what you're hoping for is maybe both of them commit to Wiggins, and then you can get you can get uh you can get Clay open for a wide open bucket. But if that doesn't happen, Wiggins is supposed to cut to the rim and, and at which time he will get the wide open pass from Draymond. But let's see what happens. All of that happened. All of the action that I just told y'all happened. He, uh, you know, this is the decoy out here. Play goes to the corner. Anthony Davis went ahead and switched on him. So, so that's not gonna happen. Right here, as soon as Anthony Davis clears, he's, I mean, uh, Wiggins supposed to cut to the rim, man. That's what he's supposed to do. And right, look. Draymond, he can't get the corner. He was not able to get the corner on, on uh, Dennis Schroeder. But he's expecting Wiggins to already be cut to the basket. And watch exactly where the ball goes right here where I'm saying that he's throwing it to. Boom. It's a late cut. He, he cut it late. And also, he had to throw the ball here where LeBron can't get it because if he throws it anywhere else, LeBron is intercepting that. And boom, here we go. He doesn't get it. Uh, it's, it's like... I guess it, to me, it looks like a a Andrew Wiggins didn't come off that screen in time or what have you, or hey, he gets tangled up with LeBron. To me, as soon as he hits LeBron with the screen and forces this switch, I feel like Wiggins supposed to be supposed to be going there, and Draymond feels like that too. He throw the ball to him, and uh, his hand touched the ball. He just didn't get it. It is what it is, man. But I ain't gonna be sitting here listening to this Draymond Green slander, man. If y'all don't know basketball, just say y'all don't know basketball. Now, just say, just say that. That's what, that what y'all say. If that's what y'all wanna say, just say it. But I'm gonna defend Draymond to the end. That was not his fault. That was a bad cut by Wiggins or a late cut. He's supposed to set the screen, set a solid screen, force the switch, dive to the hole instantly. That's what he's supposed to do. But he didn't do it, and he caused my homeboy to get a turnover. It is what it is. If y'all know basketball, just say it, man. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope they don't uh, hit me with some type of strike on that. I think I stopped it enough and all that, but we're going to see. I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Until next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please. Guys, please.